Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the Graveborn account and we're actually going to be looking at something. If you've checked out afkarena.net, um, they actually have this cheese strategy for Thorin. Um, I've used it a lot, especially on my main account, and I'll show you kind of how it works so you can get a visual of what you're looking at. People have been using the cheese strategy with Thorin um, since the signature items came out because essentially, if you look at Thorin, the only way this works is with his signature item. The reason is Thorin cannot be killed during his initial focusing phase of his retaliation ability. So when he is using his ultimate ability, which is retaliation, he cannot be killed. So we'll take a look at the ability in just a minute, but then when you look at the plus 30, Thorin cannot be killed in battle for the first two times he uses the, enters the focusing phase of his retaliation ability. So you only have to have the signature item unlocked is, is the bare minimum that you have to have. And the reason is because of the retaliation skill. Thorin focuses for several moments before swinging his weapon at all enemies in front of him, dealing 140% damage to them. 200% of the damage received by Thorin during his focus is dealt back to his enemies as, as additional damage. So as you're getting higher and higher in the campaign stages, they do more and more damage to Thorin. His signature item in turn triggers the ability he cannot die. So as you'll see in the video that I'll show you in a little bit, um, he actually just supercharges the damage that he takes and then returns the damage to the enemies, 200% of the damage, so literally 200% more damage than what they're putting in. Thorn is immune to control abilities and receives less damage. Level two, damage is increased to 160, and level three recovers 40% of damage dealt to enemies as health. So if he's doing an absolute gigantic swing, with the powering up of the retaliation ability, he is just going to recover all of his health. You know he's a hero that you have to kill twice, so if he does the retaliation ability before he dies the first time, he can die, he can do the retaliation ability again, which is just crazy, and that's how so many people cheese stages. Some of the heroes to pair him with to really make it work well is, of course, um, Lorzen. Because Lorzen has the ability to link two enemies together, as we see here. Um, he can link two enemies together. So if Thorin is too far away from an enemy, he can actually kill the enemy that is linked because of this. Another one with good CC is Eron. If you have Thorin by Eron, Eron can pull in three targets. Um, they can go ahead and do a ton of damage to him, which is good. We have Kalthar, which actually swaps spots with the enemies. Um, so they actually switch sides, which is his displacement. So the real key focus of this is trying to get as many enemies stacked around Thorin as possible. So another one that does that really well is Aziz. Um, so if you're using him, he can actually draw heroes with Feeble Mind um, to make them the furthest enemy. I believe it's Feeble Mind. Um, yeah, Feeble Mind. He actually controls the enemy furthest away from him and they walk towards him. So actually, again, bringing the heroes in a lot closer, which is the similar thing that um, Nara does. So Nara actually has the ability to impale enemies. So bringing them again closer to Thorin. And of course, the brand new Odin has the ability to, as you've seen in the last video I just put up, he can stack a ton of enemies all together because of his um, displacement ability with his eviction. So he actually stacks up enemies nice and solid for Thorin, which makes it very, very nice, as well as Rowan. Rowan is always one um, because of his not only ultimate ability with his haste regen or his um, energy regen, excuse me, his healthy supplies to keep him alive, as well as his potion for the energy but he can also stun enemies. So if enemies, again, are focused around sitting around Thorin, um, he can go ahead and stun them. So some of the big counters to him, when you look at Thorin, is of course the exact same as these. Um, when he does the ability to prevent ultimate abilities, he can actually cancel the retaliation ability. So if you're fighting him, Thorin Cheese is not a good way to go. Uh, Brutus can do the same with his immunity shield. He can actually outlast so if Thorin attacks him with Immunity Shield, um, he won't do any damage to him because obviously he's immune and then Brutus has the chance to kill him. Thorin against Thorin has the exact same thing. So depending who dies first and who retaliates first, 
they can do the same um, as well as Kaz, but Kaz is very, very unlikely just because it's RNG with Dodge. But then again, that's just like any heroes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video with Thorin himself and you'll see exactly how the ability works. It's a very cool ability, but like I said, it, it's very situational. I've had people that have used it 50, 100, 150, 200 times before they got it to work. But when you start getting in chapter 27, 28, even higher than that, the Thorin Cheese ability can work. It's been proven. It's been proven for a long time um, since, the, since the signature items came out with Thorin. So let's go ahead and look at the video. So as you can see, Thorin did almost 25 million damage and absolutely nobody else did any damage. Um, Eron pulled all the targets right in together. They're all grouped up right around Thorin. There is his ultimate ability. He's powering up. He would have died. Ultimate goes off, killed four of the five targets, cleaning it out right there. So let me know in the comments what you think. It's absolutely crazy. 24, 25 million damage, which is absolutely crazy. So let me know if you use the Thorin Cheese ability. Like I said, I've seen a lot of maps, especially getting in the higher chapters um, that have used Thorin for that exact same amount, is, is they just set it so he can alt and so he can use his ability um, just like I just showed you, to absolutely decimate the heroes. All you gotta have is his signature item unlocked. Might take some RNG, might take a good group comp to actually get everyone around Thorin, but when you do, absolutely destroys the team. One hit, as you've seen in the video, took out four of the five targets. Last one was very easy to conclude, and they won the battle in midway through chapter 27. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you're using this cheese ability, which chapter you're using it in, and how well it works out. And as always, thank you guys for watching.